Let's take a look at Jira Automation in Jira Cloud. Jira Cloud offers a powerful automation engine that extends the value of Jira by automating common processes your team routinely performs. Configurable automation rules can enforce specific project requirements and can act as a custom feature for your team. Project administrators enable automation for their projects by configuring automation rules that define when and how automated tasks are performed. Some examples of Jira automation include automatically creating subtasks when an issue is created, assigning high-priority issues to random team members, sending a message when an issue's due date is approaching, or automatically closing old issues having no activity. The best part is, automation rules are configured using a simple interface that requires no coding or technical experience. When viewing a project board, the lightning bolt icon provides access to automation features. If we select Manage Automation Rules, we can view a list of all currently configured automation rules for this project. Here we can see there's one active rule. If we view the rules details, we can see that it automatically creates two subtasks every time a new task is created. So let's create a new automation rule for the project. Configuring an automation rule is as simple as specifying a trigger event, a test condition, and the automated actions to be performed when the condition is true. First, we'll select issue creation as the trigger event. This means our automation rule will be initiated anytime a new issue is created. Next, we'll define a condition that must be passed before the automated actions are carried out. In this example, the automation will only execute if the issue's creator is Ryan Lee. We could also specify additional conditions, but for this example, we're ready to continue to the actions. For the action, we'll have the automation engine automatically assign the issue to a random member of the administrators group. Now, all we have to do is name our rule and turn it on. We can see our new rule has been added to the list and is active, so let's test it out. We're logged in as Ryan Lee now, and we'll create a new issue in our project. We can see that the issue's assignee is set to automatic by default. However, when we return to the board, we can see that our new issue has been assigned to the admin user, which is the result of our automation rule. We're logged in as the project administrator again, and we can view the automation audit log to verify that our rule is working properly. The audit log displays when each rule was modified or run, and if the run was a success. It looks like our new rule performed as expected. This short video only scratches the surface of what Jira Automation is capable of. It's a powerful feature that offers an easy way to extend Jira's basic functionality to enhance your projects. Be sure to check out other tutorials in this series to learn more about Jira Cloud.